what's going on collector welcome back to my channel like comment share subscribe okay so today um of course today was one of those spiritual attack days so um my neighbor uh paid some people to come and uh spark up another spiritual warfare another attack uh not just them but also my ex right so essentially with this with this warfare with this attack basically it was uh geared towards my job again and it was geared towards like my you know my job pretty much um you know usually i let it slide or whatever you know what i'm saying i just let it roll you know but today for some reason i guess they're trying to like show out in front of somebody you know how you get people who try to like uh impress other people and stuff try to get you to mention them talk about them and shit like that you know what i'm saying to say that you're a bad guy and this this and that but um so yeah you know i had i went off on them bitches today i don't give a fuck i went off on them bitches today and i meant every word of everything i said right but today this is what we're gonna have to do the practitioner i was curious it was weird because the practitioner himself that came into my energy i kind of recognized that energy but what they tried to do is they tried to do something like uh put up uh, uh something about scent and smells because figuratively speaking they try to they think that i can really smell them but eventually it's their energy that i pick up on you know what i mean so um yeah i'm gonna pull cards on that today because i got a lot to say but i'm not gonna well i'll say it in my i'll say it in a reading i'm gonna let it come out in the cards and i'm gonna say it in a reading uh, there was also, you know, it was just a, it was just a lot of shit, you know what I'm saying? And it was like a lot of people. It wasn't just like two or three people, you know what I mean? It was like, had to be like at least eight people, you know what I'm saying? And that's usually how the spiritual attacks are, you know what I'm saying? Especially with me, it's like eight, 10, 12 people, sometimes like three or four, you know, especially when they sacrifice animals and stuff. Cause you know, the, the dude, he got a baby mama that had dead, uh, animal remains in, the, in her backyard and stuff like that you know what i mean and uh also you know they've been paying like uh foster kids or something like that to do work and shit like that like to like uh what they'll do is um at night when they're entertaining their friends and stuff they'll they'll uh astral project or come into my energy start doing spell work and seances and stuff on my energy and stuff like that and then they'll just start you know just start attacking and shit like that sending all kind of energetic attacks and for the most part, I'm good on that. You know what I mean? And then when it's time to like retaliate, they'll put their special needs kids in the way and they'll put their special needs kids in my energy and walk away and wait for like, say if I say something or do something or whatever it may be. So it'll hit the kid who don't know what the fuck really is going on. And then once they laugh about it or whatever they go back in the energy and they'll keep doing it they just it's like a rinse and repeat kind of thing because i'm thinking they did like some kind of protection work over the kids or something like that the uh practitioner wouldn't do work for them but would do like special uh protection spells and stuff like that on the kids and also i guess they figured that if they could get me to attack somebody who was innocent that i would lose my light or whatever it may be you know what i mean so uh today I had to, uh, you know what I'm saying? It was it, it was kind of fucked up because you do have kids in the mix, but you also have adults who act like kids in the mix too. You know what I'm saying? The last time something like this happened, there was a man who helped them do a ritual. And when he got home, his, his child was dead. You see what I'm saying? Because he helped them do a death spell ritual, but the, I don't think they told anybody about that. You know what I'm saying? Also, I keep picking up on like a police officer or a judge or something that keeps coming into my energy, keep harassing me. Um, and I know it's a police officer because they, what happened is this person was trying to get me to, uh, pretty much snitch on myself. And this ain't, this ain't the first time this person did this. Okay. So what he did was he went to this voodoo lady cause he works with a, a, a practitioner, right? And when he can't get evidence on people, he will have her do work on people to get them stressed out or whatever it may be to, you know what I'm saying? So that way. When he trying to get information out of him, you know what I'm saying? Or when he trying to control certain people, he could get that out of him. He, I believe he had people uh, astral projecting and stuff too, getting information in illegal ways. Because the way that the court system works is like, 
when you you can request information and get it firsthand but for him trying to make his job easier what he was doing was he was astral projecting into people's energies getting information on people and then setting them blackmailing them because i'm pretty sure he's a part of a pedophile ring that he don't want people to talk about you know what i'm saying either that or he's been helping helping a pe people in a pedophile ring get rid of people and stuff like that you know what i'm saying if you don't believe me there's a case there's a couple of cases where there were complaints filed against him. But for some, the vibe that I was getting was that after a certain amount of time, you can get those complaints removed off his record. So what he was doing was he was going down there personally, going to get his, whatever was on his record and destroying it. But at the same time, he was uh, provoking people to make sure that they don't go and file other complaints and stuff like that. Because keep in mind, he had this voodoo lady here who was doing death spells, uh, you know, it, it's it's crazy. It's a, it's a lot of them too, man. It's a, it's crazy. It's quite a few of them, and it's so many people that when you speak up on one person's situation, they'll come in and then they'll pretend like they're somebody else. So, not only is the harassment going with like the uh, the adults, but they also got the kids and stuff, and it's all about a house and an inheritance. And, um, you know, uh, I, I discovered that somebody on the street was a pedophile, was sleeping with little boys. And, it, man, it was crazy, dog. It was crazy. Somebody killed, they killed somebody over there. Somebody got killed and they kept the body in the fucking house. And I know because I had a dream. And I didn't understand the dream at first. But the oldest kids, I'm not sure if they're teenagers. They could be like in their 20s, almost 30. But they still live with them some kind of way. And they know about a dead body or somebody who got killed in the house and the person who killed that person in the, is still living in that house. You see what I'm saying? So somebody got killed for their house. All right. Uh, also, I saw them break. I, man, it's a lot that was going on. They got, they related to people that break in people's houses and kill them. It, man, it was a lot. I had one dude who kept, man, it was a lot. So anyway, this is what we're finna do right here. Today's reading, we just gonna go ahead and pick up on that energy, pick up on the energy that was left behind. Normally, I leave the door closed and I don't fuck with them. You know what I mean? Because, like I say, I'm better than that. And you know, I don't. I'm not the kind of person that goes around like, oh, I gotta light a candle for this person. I gotta light it. I gotta do this. I gotta. Do this. No, I've been through that phase in my life and I walked away. So basically, when I spoke, when I've been speaking up on my spiritual warfare journey and stuff like that. I've been keeping the names cool because, you know, I don't want to just throw it out there and just ruin somebody's reputation and shit like that or whatever it may be because I ain't cut like that. You know what I'm saying? The only thing I give a fuck about is doing my job, working, going home, and that's it. I'm the only person that I see, but apparently somebody wants to compete with me, and that's what the spell work that they had with me was about. It was somebody who was envious about what I had, so what they did was they put they did a spell work where it's I can and I can't. I'm, I can, but you can't. That's the name of the spell work, right? When they did this hex of curse, basically, in order to get the shit that I had, they had to cause me to walk away from it, lose it, or forfeit it in some kind of way. And then it was supposed, it was designed for them to walk into it or get paid off of it. You know what I'm saying? I also heard that there was an ex out here who was paying people to do spell work and shit like that. Because what happened was they were going to feed off of that energy. Go, to, They got an energy worker who was channeling into my energy to channel that energy into like money and shit like that. You see what I'm saying? So keeping it cold, keeping it cool, keeping it kosher, that's that's just my MO, even without all of this. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. So today we finna read these cards. I'm finna, we finna read that. We, we finna tap, I'm finna tap in. You know what I'm saying? Normally I let it go. I know that there are quite a few people. It's white men, black men, Mexican people, Latin people. It's all, it's all kind of nationalities, right? Also, I didn't talk about the, uh, there was somebody who was like renting houses, but what they were doing, it's like whoever this person is, they're also connected to some corrupt people who go and they do like those uh, uh, land land lease or whatever the land uh, uh, what is it land land on what is it? you know where you put money down and you you rent the house to own rent to own the house well what they were doing was after you put a significant amount down they get quite a bit amount of money out of you what they was doing they was going to the same voodoo lady to get you put out your house and demons and, and spirits and stuff to your house which is what I'm dealing with right now 
They've been sending all kinds of spirits and, and demons and burying shit in my yard and burning shit in the ground, throwing shit on my door, you know. And I know it was them because one day I came outside and they had a whole bunch of bottles hanging out on their tree, which means they've been they've been working with de demonic forces. You see what I'm saying? Only time when you're working with demonic forces, you need bottles like that because the, when you put them in a tree, it's, it's designed to capture them off that property and keep them in a tree and cleanse that cleanse them out. You see what I'm saying? Somebody that's whoever this is, they can't they can't cleanse it out. And then on top of that, you know, uh, whoever this is, it's like they're hell bent on like having my attention. You know what I mean? So. And maybe they will get some kind of accolade or whatever it is or whatever they feel they need to get off of this. But I'm going to make sure this video hurt before you get that accolade. You're going to earn this shit today. You know what I'm saying? All right. Ancestors of the darkest light. I just call you into the light with the information I need. I call upon you from the shadows, from the crevices, from the hidden places and things. All the creeping and crawling things underneath the earth. Come thy forth. Make yourself known in this circle and reveal to me everything I need to know about those who have attacked me today. Everything they don't want us to know. First thing out, Queen of Wands. This is the witch herself, right? So the witch herself is working with a familiar. She has a cat spirit who's been sitting on the uh, work trying to keep it from coming back or backfiring basically so whatever work this person is doing they have a cat a familiar that they've been using for protection here also whoever this person is they've been using while they're using light magic they're using they have this cat here to protect them from dark magic that they've been sending out so yes this is definitely a female that's been sending energy out whoever this is it's a female this is a masculine female Yep. She could even be overseas somewhere. Possibly in uh, North Northern Africa somewhere up there. Yep. Somewhere by the sea. Probably Ghana or something like that. Yeah, she wears a something about a shawl that she wears to cloak herself. She's been cloaking herself and hiding her crown. She, it's something that she's been putting on her head to hide her crown. And she's been using wand magic. That's candle magic. Candle magic and possibly even uh, sacral chakra. Okay, this is the Ten of Wands. Whoever she is, she's burdened. She's overwhelmed. And she's trying to come out of some kind of... Um, she's trying to come out of some kind of um, dark night of the soul that she's trapped in. But it's too hard for her. So what she's been trying to do is trying to project that kind of energy towards me. So yeah, this person's job is to make everything unnecessarily hard. To try to get me to stress out over things that are non-existent. Basically is what they pay her to do. This person saw how hard I work and they wanted to make sure I stay working hard, which is why whenever I'm, you know, getting off work or whatever, her job is to continuously throw chaotic energies at me to keep me busy and to keep me working. So let's find out why she's keeping me busy in this manner. Just reveal to me why is she trying to keep me busy so bad? Why is she trying to keep me busy so bad? Oh, I had one card almost uh, poked out. It was the Two of Cups. Two of Wands. <clears throat> Hold on. Let me see if it comes back up. Eight of Cups. See? That's what I was talking about. That Eight of Cups energy in reverse. Ace of Swords in reverse. The Devil card. Look at that. Seven of Cups. Four of Cups in reverse. And the, eight of, and the Seven of Pentacles here. Yeah. This basically, this person here is like with the Eight of Cups, they're trying to snare, ensnare me in some kind of drama or some kind of bullshit that they got going on with this uh, Ace of Swords here. Some untruth has been has been coming up. This person's job is to misinform people about who I am and what I do. And essentially what she's doing is she's been binding spirits, trying to bind spirits and devils and demon demonic forces and stuff to my energy. So that she can do some kind of blackmailing work or something of that nature. Also, uh, yeah, and her job is to keep me from walking away. So that's why the burden is, is here. So basically what she's doing is she's throwing chaotic magic to try to get me to stress out or worry or whatever about something. And then she's channeling off that energy to create the cell for me to be ensnared in. If that make any sense. 
she's trying to use my own energy to create a cell for itself. You got the seven of one, seven of cups out here, the four of cups are reversed, and you got the seven of pentacles out here. Yeah, she do it for money. And don't get me wrong, it's not easy for her to do this, but her thing is she's trying to make it where, where I have to work very hard for everything that I earn, and then I keep my mind off of something. There's something they're trying to keep me distracted from. So let's find out what you're trying to keep me distracted from. Okay, here we go. So what the distraction is about, seven of wands out here, the sun card in reverse and the pinnacles, yeah. Whoever this person is, it's like they're trying to distract me or keep me from, uh, it's like basically poke the bear to piss me off, but just enough to keep me from uh, retaliating or uh, doing work, doing my own work. You see what I'm saying? Because essentially this person wants to ambush me in some kind of way. This person wants me to feel isolated, alone, like I'm, like I'm, you know what I'm saying? It's narcissism basically is what this is. But... You know, uh, yeah, narcissism, lose money, lose my light, lose, um, you know what I'm saying? Uh, be pessimistic and evil and mean and shit like that. So basically, this person probably already has a ruined reputation. Cause remember what I told you earlier? That this person um, was trying to uh, basically try to ruin my reputation. Well, essentially, the reason why is because their reputation is ruined and they're trying to feed off of that. They're trying to get people to see them in a certain kind of light. This person wants to be seen as an empress, essentially, right? What else we got? We got the six of swords, six of wands out here, which means it was a fail. Ten of swords out here. And you got the ace of cups out here. Everything that she tried to do pertaining to my love life, everything that she tried to do pertaining to my heart space, which she did try to block that off to try to get me, you know what I'm saying? That war is already lost. She lost. Whatever she did, whatever spell work that she did, it's ruining her reputation with certain people, whoever this person may be, male or female. You see what I'm saying? It's ruining their reputation. Whatever they just did ruined their reputation because they was working with somebody who was going really could took them far in life. That's just like the other day when they did, when they sent some kind of work, I felt that they missed out on a hundred thousand dollar scratch off lottery ticket because somebody chose to stay at home and the money they were supposed to use to go pay for that ticket they went and because they normally gamble they took it and they tried to invest it in doing spell work against me and my home and that cost them a hundred something thousand dollars so now this person is pissed off about that and now they're going to continue to try to reinvest to try to wait for another opportunity but that opportunity is gone because that was their once in a chance lifetime they were being tested essentially this person they wanted to take my gifts in my space and that's one thing that i told god i said look if this person feels themselves to be more worthier than i am then give them the test let them take the test everything i had to go through to get to where i am may you go through it too all the bullying all the spiritual attacks all the spiritual warfare may that be laid on to everything that you have ever sent out towards me good and bad good and bad from the very beginning of when you sent this out from the very beginning up until now may you go through that entire cycle and then at the end of that cycle, if you still want my life, you're entitled to that because you went through the hard work that I went through. So you know what that means? There's a possibility that there will be a coven that's getting ready to emerge. This person won't know that this coven has been attacking them until it's too late. That's why you have this 10 of swords out here. There's going to be up to 10 people that's going to attack this person and they won't have any way to protect themselves because when this originally started, I didn't have any protection either. And you got the Ace of Cups out here. Yes. So with this Ace of Cups here, this has to do with like, uh, like I said, the heart space and stuff like that. You know, this person wanted to like attack me behind the scenes and stuff like that, but also wanted me to show them love and be kind and compassionate toward them. You got the Death card in reverse. You got the Tower and the Two of Pentacles here. Yeah, so whatever they tried to do, they tried to kill off in me. It didn't happen. It didn't work. As a result, you know, a tower is happening on their behalf. 
and my whatever finances or money that they thought that they were getting, it's going to balance itself back out. They used some wisdom that was cursed. There was some cursed wisdom that this lady kept using or this man kept using. You got a death spell in reverse out here. There's a death spell out here that's lingering because it, it didn't go through. This person refuses to, you know, to change. I'm not responsible for making this person change. The whole purpose of them doing the attack was to get a reading. This person, for the most part, has some kind of infatuation with me, but I had to keep telling this person, like, look, I'm not gay. I'm not bisexual. I'm not bi-curious. I don't do transsexuals. I don't do pansexuals. I don't do, you know what I'm saying? All that other shit. I don't do that shit. I don't judge you for what you do. Up until this point, I didn't judge them for what they did. Like having a baby with a stud. If that's your thing, that's your thing. You see what I'm saying? But I'm, that's not me. And I'm not finna lower myself to try to be incorporated in your little threesome because you, you know, I thought, I didn't know Muslims was like that. I didn't know they were like that, honestly. I didn't know they were like that. I knew that they, you know, multiple marriages and stuff, poly and whatever, but I didn't know that they were entitled to marry men and shit like that or try to pursue men. You know what I'm saying? Trying to add other men into their sexual relationships and stuff like that. And even if it is two women and stuff like that, I mean, still, you know, that ain't my thing. I'm going to pursue my wife and that's it. So if you can't handle that, I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you. If this, if this, if this is your rea reaction to me telling you that I'm not interested in you mentally, emotionally, sexually, spiritually, none of that. Then this is just what it's going to have to be every day. It's going to have to be this every fucking day because I'm going to tell you every fucking day that I don't fuck with you and I don't fucking want you. You can laugh it off. You can play it off. You can do whatever the fuck you need to do. But trust me, I've seen you in my dreams touching yourself to another man. I know. Nigga, I know. I've seen him play, having sex with little boys. And I pray to God this ain't a police officer because there's a chance that this officer have been getting young men off the hook that he's attracted to and convincing them to have sex with him to get them off the hook with certain shit. Yeah, we going in today. And then you got this bitch out, this, this practitioner shit, sending spell work and shit. Let's see the outcome of this shit. What's going to be the outcome, ancestors? Reveal to me the outcome. So yeah, I'm finna read this. I'm gonna read this bitch the filth, man. <laughs> normally, normally I'll be chill. You know what I mean? <laughs> normally I'll be chill. But today I was like, no, I gotta say something today. Got the high priestess in reverse. Whatever initiation she went through to get her high priestess abilities is being revoked. The spirits aren't gonna work with her. The gods are turning against her. Her community is gonna turn against her. All the spell work that she sent out, all the work that she had done, everything that she called herself building with her hands, whatever she used to do this work, whatever she used to do this work is the same things that's going to turn against her and it'll never work for her again. If she used her hands to build anything else, it's not going to work. Yeah, all her plan, everything that she planned, three of pentacles, her contracts and her marriages and stuff like that. Yeah, it's going to affect everything in her life. She ruined her life over whatever hundred or whatever she, whatever they agreed to add this conversation. Because like I say, it could be, it, more than likely it's more than one person. All right, I'll catch up with y'all later. I love y'all all, peace.